Being introduced to open intelligence, it, it guarantees, first of all, mental and emotional stability, and then the power to be of benefit. And it's all, that's amazing, right? <laughs> okay, so that's the first thing. And then, it's not given here, it's already present. It's the power of every human being, and the, the training introduces to this power, introduces everyone who's open to it to recognize that power in yourself, and then have a support system, the Four Mainstays, to make it obvious in a daily life. It's separable wherever you are, like we're sitting right here, here's the power. You're going to our work, there's the power, or family, or we have facing challenging situations, and there's the power of open intelligence. So it's never gone. It's just simply that we've emphasized data, and data means everything, like emotions, thoughts, and experiences, anything you think or feel. We've just emphasized that. And that's just what we, what we learned and um, ignored open intelligence. And open intelligence is mental and emotional stability and great insight and the power to know and beneficial at all times. And so that's just naturally present in, in us as a human being, inseparable from anything we think and feel. And that's, that's amazing to, to see that. So everyone, everyone sitting here, including the whole world, <laughs> is that powerful. And it doesn't matter who we are, what background we have, what beliefs we we, we have, what um, our our disposition is, what our um, um, preferences are, and what our set of data are, so what, what our thoughts and emotions are, everybody has the equal opportunity to recognize open intelligence that is inseparable from all these data, like color blue and the sky. We can say that today so beautifully. <laughs> it's always the color blue and the sky are inseparable, like data and open intelligence. And to make it so clear with this terminology, it just makes it clear for us in our experience to test it out in our experience. And that's really important. Everybody who's coming to the training, like the first time you just remember back, what was important is to listen that that is possible for a human being to to recognize the power, the beneficial power, and what we are capable of, plus that we are testing that in our experience. Like we can't just, just believe and, and, and we, we want to see it in our experience. So that's what the Bansfield training supports. It says, okay, test it like a scientist in your own life, in, in, in your daily life. And it, it's easy because um, Easy it is because you can do it wherever you are, like just right here. So you have lots of thoughts, or maybe you don't have any thoughts at the moment, or some emotions here and there. Some strong ones are, are, are physical sensations, right? They also all data. So and recognize open intelligence, one, just one moment at a time. Shining through all data, just inseparable from all data, and to keep it that simple, moment by moment, don't make it into a state, like it has to look this or that way. Again, it's, it's really what, letting everything be as it is, and that's where the power is, in a total self-release, then now you have a next thought, and the next emotion, and like we... Just hearing that, you know, that's, wow, it is simple. It's, it's right there. The power is right there. And then we decide to not emphasize data anymore. It's just like that. We are not going to emphasize any data. It's open intelligence. It's where it's at. And then we see the power. And that's what we exemplify to people. I see, I, you can, there's not, you know, whoever is open, to seeing a full commitment to not going anymore with this kind of thing. Like, how can you rely on data and, and, and experiences? It's ever changing. The data are just all over, and that's really open intelligence and all data. I mean, just look at it. And then to rely and find stability there, it's just impossible. Like, how did you wake up this morning? How are you now? Like, if you look at your data, you, you'll never find 
first of all, equality <laughs> of experience, and, um, and then some kind of stability. So the, these qualities and these powers are not found in the labels and descriptions of all data. And that's where you first get really clear what, means, what it means true equality. Everything that we, it's an inside job. You have to look in your own experience with all your data. Once you start thinking that certain data are more important, better, they're more worth than others, that's what will be happening outside in the world. So if we get really clear on that, in our own experience to recognize the true equality right there with everything that is going on in yourself, then we can as human beings come together and exemplify in our daily life true equality. Otherwise, when you start in yourself, judging yourself being better or worse, or even your own <clears throat> experiences and data, then how can we in the world go for a, <clears throat> a society that that wants to rely on true equality when, when we self don't, don't recognize it in ourselves. So that's a really powerful instructions. That's why relying on the four mainstays and that 100% commitment, you see how that is of benefit to all in the society. So taking a short moment is so powerful for the benefit of all for the society and world we live in. And then making that an example, it might really scare people because it is a completely different way of seeing things. You know, the, it's, it's scary when you, when you think um, that, that emphasizing data, just, just, just all our beliefs that felt so secure. And it doesn't mean that we are giving up but it is a, it's standing up for a new way of, of thinking, speaking, and acting in the world, and, um, and, and treating ourselves and others. And when you make a stand and a commitment, definitely people will have data around that. Yet what is powerful is to say you have to test it in your own experience. You don't have to believe anything. It is only in your experience and, and you're welcome to, to, to look at. Why are we sharing it? We do want to have people know about it, but nobody has to do. But at the, in the end, you, you'll have to see that. And this is in my experience. I just see, well, how can we rely on data further and be of benefit? when one time the data is like that and the next time it's like that. Or you want to make a decision and you know what is of benefit to all, but you, you, you can be sure once you made a decision that you have opposite data, right? <laughs> so how can, when you're not clear, that's really confusing, right? It's very confusing and, and, and so a world can't be based on data. It's like, and then you have all your, in, your own emotions and thoughts and it's a, like a never-ending way how to find the right decision and how to be of benefit. So demonstrating that there's an education in mind that, of mind that, that guarantees complete stability, first of all, and then the power to know what is of most benefit to all, and that we can, that we can come together as human beings and support each other in exactly that and exemplify each other that we have to speak up to, to show that that is the way. And it, it, you can just expect that pe some people will not like it, like, because you know it in yourself. You have also all these doubts and data. So you, you have to first deal with seeing in yourself all the doubts, the negative data, the positive data, and recognize what is of most benefit in your own experience, then you're not afraid of anything else. And then you know how to support anybody with doubts or with skepticism or being scared or thinking, oh, but it is a very human way of being. It's, an, it's, it's, it's a really crucial way of being. And like when, when Candace talks about the ship turning, you know, you know exactly what that means because we can't go on anymore with relying on data. Because look at the nature of data. We spoke about it now in, in every human being and in ducks and, and hens and every, everywhere. Just like relying on that is 
crazy. So then you want to rely on something that is powerful that uses all the data in an exalted way, like we are as human beings. And, um, and then demonstrating that to, to everyone in a way that is, makes it very natural. Nobody has to change. <laughs> like Imba said, you don't have to change your gender. That was a good one. So, so, um, so just everybody just perfect as they are, no matter from what background they come. Don't have to give up anything, but commit to not relying on such a primitive way of data, emphasizing data. So when, once that gets clear, then you, 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 you have to show that in your example with a strong commitment, and that's very inspiring. Most people will inspire. Some people will have different data and might turn away. But how about those who are interested? So maybe focus on those who are open at this point, and you'll see the skillful means more and more just expand and showing that it is the most natural way of using our capacity to be a human being and because everybody wants to be of benefit to all actually if, oh, well you can leave that wants to be of benefit and then to all I mean if somebody sees that they have that power they want that too but wanting wanting a, a good world many people the most of the people want that if you ask and then being so assured in a way that that works First, you see it in yourself. That's why testing it in our own experience and seeing all data around that will make us powerful to see, to face everything that comes up. So, so just to make it real, actually, just to make really clear what it means to emphasize data, what the effects are, and then seeing in our experience, I mean, we know the result of relying on open intelligence is extremely powerful. And that wherever we are, we can, in our business or in our daily life. And to, to exemplify that in, in, in your business with such an assurance, you know, that will, will attract many people wanting to work with you. Because there's nothing going on like, you know, like all kinds of stories or or blaming you, empowering everybody in their gifts, strengths, and talents. Like, just imagine a place where you come and work and only your power is seeing and your strengths and, and talents and wanting everybody to thrive. Mm -hmm. And if you, um, that's what you empower yourself. That's true self-leadership. And then you suddenly exemplify that in your business. That's amazing. Everybody will want to work there. Because it's not about put, making people small, putting them down, saying, oh, you did that again. It's an environment of total respect and openness, and that's possible. We can create that wherever.